Hey friends, Adrika Badari from Extra Code YouTube channel is back again. So friends, in last video, we learned how to take input from a user. In this video, we're gonna learn how to take two or more inputs in one line from user. So, let's get started. So here I will make another file, tute8.py. Okay. So, here, suppose I have to take first name and last name of user. So, I can take it like this. First name. And here, I can write input. Enter your first name. And then, like this. I can write second name also. Second name. So it is a little bit lengthy. So to make it short, we have to take input from user in one line only. So we can write, let's copy this from here only. paste okay and we will separate it from comma okay so we have taken two variables first name and second name and we have separated them from comma as you can see here right now what will we do we will use input function input enter your first name first name and second name comma se separated with comma okay with comma okay so why have we written here separated with comma to tell the user that he or she have to put a comma between first name and second name okay now after this, what we will do, we will put, we will write dot split. Split is a function which splits a string. So inside quotes, we will give comma here. Okay. Now, here, so here, if I write here, print first name. Print first name, okay? And if I run the program, see, it will ask me, enter your first name and second name separated with comma, okay? So, let me write here, Adrika, comma, D-A-U-R-I-A, Badoria, okay? So, it has printed my first name, okay? So, what is it doing here? As I told the user to enter first name and second name separated with comma. So, that's what I did here. I put a comma between my first name and second name. Okay. So, now as you can see I have written dot split with comma. Right. I have written with comma. So, it will split my string with commas. So, wherever it will see a comma, it will spread the string. So, here, as I told you that initially, input function takes input from the user in string format. So, I have input a string and here, it has seen that here is a comma. It has separated the, it has split the string with comma now adrika is stored in first name and bhadoria is stored in second name so now if i print here second name second name and here if i write 
Adrika Madhuria. It is printing Adrika first name and second name is printing Madhuria. Okay. Now, if you want to split your string with a slash, so you can write here to tell the user that you have to separate the values with slash, and you have to put a slash here. Okay. Now, if you write here, here, let me write slash, and if I enter it, as you can see, it is working properly. Here, you have to put comma only in every case, but here you have to put a slash, and you have to tell the user that with what value. With what special character he or she have to split the string? Okay, separate the two values. Okay, so this is how you take two inputs in one line. You can, if you want to give two more than two inputs, like you have to take three or four inputs, you can separate them with comma only, and it will work. Suppose if I write here. Let me show you. Suppose if I write here a comma b comma c, and here if I write and if I write here input enter values separated with let's say comma, you can use anything. So here I will write split, and here I will use comma. So wherever it will see comma, it will split. So if I write here print a, print a, and then if I write here print b, and then if I write here print c, sorry, it will be c, c, right? And here, uh. Let's give how are you okay? So see, A is printing how, B is printing R, and C is printing you. Okay. So hope you got to know how do we separate values using split function and how to take input two or more inputs in one line. Okay. So I will drop the code. In the description box, you can take the code from there. So that's it for today's video. See you soon in my next video, guys. Thank you so much.